For the past five years, Scots spirits have been soaring and funnily enough, it's nothing to do with football. Scotland is awash with gin right now with over 70% of gin consumed in the UK made right here in Scotland. And one young distiller from Deniston in Glasgow is hoping to cash in on that boom. However, not with gin, but with the green fairy herself, Absinthe. <laughs> I went to meet Darren at Bridgecourt Railway Arches on Glasgow's south side, where he hopes to set up his distillery. Tell me what absinthe is, because I've got to be honest, when I'm in the pub, it's not something that I order regularly. No, I mean, I'm hoping to change that, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, absinthe is a drink that's really no different to any other rectified spirit, like gin, for example. You've got your neutral spirit base, and you distill that with a unique range of botanicals, which in this case would include things like wormwood, fennel, green anise, that gives it that bit of absinthe, licorice kind of character and you drink it with a little bit of water, a little bit of sugar. So tell me about this business idea. What do you want to do with absinthe? Well, hopefully kind of change its reputation a little bit and kind of bring it more into the mainstream. And where are you with funding then? How much do you need? Where are you getting it from? So that's hopefully going to come from the Prince's Trust. We're in talks with that just now, but they're going to hopefully supply a loan, about £5,000, and that'll be enough to get the premises sorted, get the licenses going and get some equipment in so we can start distilling. So this is going to be the home of the empire? Hopefully. This is going to be the home of the illicit spirits company. To help kickstart Darren's business, we took him to Edinburgh to meet Marcus Pickering and Matt Gamel, the founders of Pickering's Gin. Established in 2013, Pickering's now export to 17 countries worldwide, with a projected annual turnover of approximately £6 million for 2017. Now that the gin boom is well and truly underway, I think craft distilling, there's lots and lots of potential in it, so to distill a absinthe is brilliant. Making the product, making the absinthe will be 20% of what you do. Selling, marketing, branding will be a, a huge part. When people say, what's your brand identity? When we started, we didn't really have one because we just started and that grew organically and it was just our personalities, that's mine and Matt, my business partner. And that kind of became the brand. Speak to as many people as you possibly can and if you can make a trial batch, get people tasting it, you know, so they're tasting it, they're giving you feedback, they're telling you what they like about it and yeah, research is really important to see what people like. Do you like a green bottle? Do you like a blue bottle? All those little things are really important. So in the spirit of research, we went to see what the good people of Edinburgh think about Darren's idea. All right, man, can I just ask, have you ever tried absinthe before? I have, indeed, yes. You have. I actually really enjoyed that. Would you buy a Scottish absinthe if one was available? Oh, yeah, I probably would give it a shot, yeah. I'd be willing to give anything a try once. It would be something I'd be interested in drinking if it was more like the old sort of... And it tapped into history a little bit. Yeah, that thing. into the history. Do you reckon that's something you would stock in the bars? Yeah, people ask for it all the time. Really? Yeah. Give me three words you would associate with absinthe. Um, strong. Strong. Colourful. It's normally bright colours. Yeah. Classic. Clearly someone who knows what they're talking about here. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> still excited, still up really for it? Really excited, can't wait to get cracking. And what are you looking forward to the most? Just getting the equipment in there and starting to distill and starting to bring the product to life. Brilliant. Well, listen, all this talk of absinthe, I think it's only right that we try it. So, cheers. Cheers. And here's to the Illicit Spirits Company. Thank Here you. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, like Darren, you're thinking of setting up your own business or you're facing other major financial decisions, then visit the Royal Bank of Scotland Life Moments website for advice from our experts and also to catch up on the rest of our Life Moments stories. <laughs>